Hi, I'm Abubakar Stig Ango, and in this session, I'll be talking about how you can go from orchestration to delivery using GitLab with the awesome suite of products provided by HashiCorp. Now, I'm a developer evangelism program manager at GitLab, and I'm currently based in The Hague, Netherlands, and my major interests are in Kubernetes, CI, CD, GitOps, and DevSecOps. You can find me on Twitter at Saruki247, S-A-R-K-I-247. Now, GitLab isn't just about source code management. It provides a suite that allows collaboration, agile and accelerated development of your product, continuous integration and continuous de deployment, allowing you to move fast and verify your application provides you with a suite of solutions to make sure that you create secure solutions and are able to ship well-tested applications. So it's not just about source code management, but it's about getting you from your idea straight to production. And even after production, allow, enables you to be able to monitor your applications and keep track of everything that is going on within your solutions. Now we do this by not just uh, moving you from dev to ops, but also allowing you to manage every stage of your application life cycle. Yeah, when an idea comes up, you need to be able to discuss the idea. You need to be able to give each other the time to go through all the uh, scenarios and uh, be able to manage uh, the different pieces of idea that forms the whole solution. We use, uh, we provide something called Epic, which allows you to be able to group a lot of discussions that are happening in issues into one. And also provides things like milestones and other things that can enable you to be able to manage the whole discussions happening within your organization. Now, this also allows non-technical uh, members of your company to be able to be part of the development of your solutions. Now, then we provide security. GitLab allows you to move left in your development life cycle, not just testing your applications or uh, making security an afterthought after the whole thing has been, uh, after the whole uh, development have gone far. But now right from the first commit that is pushed to your project or that is created in your project, Testing can be done, security audits, uh, license checks, license compliance checks, and secret, detec uh, secret detection and everything can be done right from the first commit, from right from when the developers push their commit, when they want to merge into uh, the rest of the project, and when they want to deploy to production. At every stage, you can ensure that your application is secure and every development that has been done by your developers or your development team are secure and well-tested. Now, if we drill down further into the verify uh, stage of GitLab, which involves mostly the testing and uh, the continuous integration and continuous deployment part of your life cycle, you will see that in the continuous integration part where you do verification, you can do a lot of things like performance testing, container scanning, dependency scanning. You want to make sure every dependency that your application is using, one is secure, it's not it doesn't have any vulnerability, or it's something that your organization have approved to be used based on some compliances that you need to follow. Now, then the next thing is you need to package your application, probably push it to a container registry or any other registry. GitLab supports a range of registries down to composer registry and so on that you can have privately within your organization without using any public or uh, any public registry out there. Then the, straight to continuous delivery and continuous deployment. You, you have different ways of pushing your applications out there and at the end monitoring your application. And once monitoring detects there are uh, any issues, it can also go back to the beginning of the circle by creating issues for new, uh, new problems that have been discovered or new bugs, and the whole circle continues that way. Now, but we can't do 
a lot of these things alone without partnering with other products or solutions that are, pro that are created by our partners like HashiCorp. Now, some of the products that I'll be highlighting here are Consul, Terraform, Vault, Parker, and Waypoint, and how they work with GitLab. Let's start with Consul. GitLab bundles Consul in GitLab Premium when that's the self-hosted version of GitLab when you want to install them on your, uh, on your servers. It allows you to be able to run multi-node installations where you, uh, due to the uh, load within your organization, you want to be able to make sure that you have high avail availability and your services are well connected with each other. So GitLab uses console in the background to ensure high availability within all the nodes within your GitLab environment. Now, and we also have reference architectures where depending on the amount of load and the amount of users using your application, the uh, require the recommended arch architecture that we feel will be able to accommodate the solution and console plays a very crucial role in that. Now, the next thing is Terraform. Terraform is like one of the gold standards for uh, GitOps and infrastructure as code the deployment within the industry these days. And to use it is as easy as using a template that we've created called Terraform template. If you, within your uh, GitLab installation, when you want to create your GitLab CI file, you can select under the templates menu, you see Terraform. Once you select it, you don't need to do anything else. It has all the code to help you with your Terraform installation, right from okay, if, where uh, it does Terraform plan and where it does Terraform apply and so on. It, it also provides the ability for you to have your own managed Terraform state within GitLab. You don't have to configure a different uh, external storage or a, a, a different service to manage your Terraform state. Now, it's also integrated as part of Magic Request so that aside from you pushing your code within the Magic Request, where most of the collaborations happen, that where the code reviews, the approvals, and so on, it presents the state, the the an overview of exactly what your Terraform deployment is trying to do and how it impacts the rest of the uh, of your deployment and enables your uh, approvals to be able to test and see everything within the magic request itself without having to cl click through several things to be able to see what exactly you want to do. Then we also provide GitLab Terraform provider, which allows you to be able to install and manage a GitLab installation using Terraform. Now, the next thing is Vault. Vault and allows you to have a secure GitLab installation or run secure continuous integrations. Now, one of the things we do is you can use uh, Vault authentication with GitLab Open ID Connect, where you don't want to add an extra layer of authentication to your application when you already have a lot of your applications authenticating using GitLab. Now, when you use Vault authentication, you can easily log into Vault from using GitLab. Now, the next thing is you can, when you integrate your Kubernetes cluster with GitLab, you can deploy Vault into your Kubernetes cluster right from the GitLab interface. This allows you to provide a secure secret management and a, a secure security solution within your cluster. Now, you can also, within your CI CD deployment, you can authenticate and read secrets with HashiCorp Vault right from within GitLab using uh, Jots. This allows you to have a very secure way of reading secrets that are needed within your CI jobs and avoiding a situation where uh, your secrets can get leaked or some form of privilege escalation can happen 
Because one of the ways that you can currently handle secrets within your application is by adding them as variables. But this can get exposed because different users have might have access to this secret. And also, uh, rotating secrets is much more easier when you're using Vault aside from, uh, instead of using variables. With variables, someone has to remember to go, to know where to go look, especially if you use variables at group level within GitLab. They have to remember where the secrets are kept, to go change them. But with Vault, you can simply rotate the keys and anytime developer or a CI job is trying to access them, they access the most up-to-date secrets. Then the next thing is Parker. Parker, allows you to be able to build images for different platforms. And right from within GitLab CI CD, it works perfectly. No need for any specific configuration. You just need to uh, use the right images and download the Parker binaries to be able to build your images. Now, the next thing is Waypoint. Waypoint uh, was recently introduced to allow you to build and deploy your application to any platform. Now. To work with GitLab, all you need to do is to download your Waypoint binaries, set your variables like you set with any other, uh, like if you are running Waypoint on your system, like the Waypoint server address, the TLS, and so on, and issue your commands, init, build, deploy, and release. Now, GitLab has even gone to the uh, extent of providing you with GitLab hosted Waypoint images so that your builds will be faster when you are using our SaaS uh, service, gitlab.com, or when or in situations where probably due to the entry point on some of the images provided uh, for Waypoint, it might break your pipeline. Instead, if you are using our self-hosted images, it works flawlessly. So these are some of the ways uh, GitLab works together with HashiCorp. You can definitely look at uh, them through our documentations that I've been providing on each slide. And during Hashi Talks, uh, Hashi Talks, several other talks were delivered about how GitLab works with a lot of HashiCorp products. You can see a lot of them and view the talks on YouTube subsequently. Thank you very much for listening and Hope you try GitLab with HashiCorp.